Well, I'm Bob Coughlin. I'm the president and CEO of MassBio, and on behalf of the MassBio board of directors and staff, thank you all so much for joining us today at the third annual Patient Advocacy Summit. How many folks attended one or both of the, the first two? Show of hands. Okay, so how many folks are new to this? We're gonna have a great day. So thank you so much. You know, in my position, I'm always out speaking about how the Mass Life Sciences cluster is leading, far outpacing competitors across the country and around the world in cutting edge science and business collaborations. But it's also true that Massachusetts companies and organizations that you all represent are the leading edge of what, mo what might be the most exciting developments we've seen in the past few years. And that's patient and industry partnerships that accelerate discovery and development, support therapies into and through the clinic, and articulate the value of innovative medicines to regulatory agencies and legislators around the world. With this summit, we aim to highlight what is new, what is best, what is working collectively to bring new therapies to patients around the world. And with that in mind, we're very excited about the lineup today. It's gonna to be a jam-packed day. People are gonna be coming and going. We've got a record amount of registration. Uh, we can't, I can't, and on behalf of the Mass Bio team, thank our Patient Advocacy Steering Committee enough. They've been working months to bring us this strong program. So have a big round of applause for the Steering Committee. We wanna thank our sponsors, Shire, Alchemies, Biogen, Inventive Health, Sanofi Genzyme, Takeda, Bluebird Bio, Bristol Myers Squibb, Sarepta Therapeutics, Vertex, Idera, Stat, Voyager Therapeutics, and Wave Life Sciences. We couldn't do this today without their support. So big thank you to our sponsorship. And also, we wanna make sure we have a big round of applause for our hosts here at Novartis Institutes for Biomedical Research. So, guys, it's important to know, we are their first external, external group to use this amazing, beautiful facility. So we truly appreciate them hosting us here today. And I just wanna say, I'm really jacked up to be here today. So this is gonna be a real high energy day. And the reason I'm so psyched is because, believe it or not, I've only been to two of the three patient advocacy summits. And the reason I couldn't attend last year is because my own son with cystic fibrosis wasn't doing well. And I had to be at Boston Children's. And it, it's a reminder of why we all do what we do. And today I don't have to be at Boston Children's because he's doing well, he went to school today. So that's a good thing. So. This is gonna be an amazing day. So with that, we wanna introduce Rachel Morgan, who's the Global Head of Clinical Science and Innovation and Translational Medicine here at Novartis for a few words. Rachel? Thank you very much. I just wanna welcome you here to the Novartis Institute of Biomedical Research, or NIBA as we call it, to save time. Um, NIBA, for those of you who don't know it, is basically the drug discovery engine for the whole of Novartis. It's about 6,000 associates globally, and here in Cambridge is the headquarters. Um, and it covers a whole range of different therapeutic areas. <clears throat> so one of the things I've been very fortunate to have witnessed is the, the building of this amazing um, building you're in today. I saw it go from being a hole in the ground to being this incredible building, probably about the same time it takes to get a drug to market. Um, and so this auditorium, actually, this is only the second time I've been in here, so just once more than most of you. <laughs> um, so one of the reasons that Novartis and, and Nibba were very sort of honoured to host this event today is because this is such a topic that is of great importance to us as well, especially in our department in translational medicine where the patient and the voice of the patient is becoming ever so critical in the development of a drug. And it's even early, even before the first time we go into the clinical trials, working closely with patient advocacy groups to really understand the patient so we can design the trials in the right way, so we can think about patient reported outcomes very, very early has become very critical. We all know that patients are becoming much more active in trying to find treatments for themselves. You know, they're not just relying on their physicians anymore. 
And the biggest way that patients are finding information is, of course, through the internet. So partly it's for us to provide very high quality information to make sure we get them that information through a trusted source, like the patient advocacy groups, and that we continue to engage through these groups with the patient before, during and after the trial. And so this is something we are heavily engaged in, and that's why this event is very important. And as I said, we're very, very honoured to be here today. And there's lots of people from the group here to actually enjoy the event too. So I want to obviously thank the uh, presenters today, the panellists and also the organisers. And, you know, once again, welcome and I hope you enjoy the event. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rachel. And also a big thank you to Helen, Cara, Bradford and the whole team here at Nibber for hosting us. Big round of applause for all of you. You know, I would also like to thank uh, the Rare Disease United Foundation for lending us some of the artwork from the Beyond the Diagnosis art exhibit. RDUF has worked with artists to paint portraits of real children and adults living with a rare disease. I think you'll agree the work helps to remind us why we all do what we do. Which leads me to today's hashtag, which is hashtag patient driven. See right up here? <laughs> hashtag patient driven. So as you tweet, we ask that you utilize hashtag patient driven, and I'll be damned if we don't trend today, right? <laughs> so let's trend the crap out of it, Boston style, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm sorry I went off script again, Sarah. <laughs> hate scripts. All right, so, so some of you know that MassBio has used hashtag patient driven to highlight the individual and person, personal reasons why we all work around the life sciences. And we're gonna talk a bit more about that campa campaign later today, but please tweet your insights from the event using the hashtag patient driven.